Welcome back to Red Glasses Talks. The title today is Tremble. So Psalm 4, verse 4, in the old King James Version, this is how it says it. Stand in awe and sin not. Stand in awe and don't sin. Stand in awe of the holiness of God. And don't sin. So what are we talking about here? Well, number one, we don't see in our culture today in 2023 a whole lot of people trembling. So instead, what we see is deliberate disrespect for God. We see a, a low view of the holiness of God. We see people taking sinning lightly. And on and on and on it goes. Now listen. Your concept of God, how you conceive of God, what you think about God, your concept of God will determine your commitment to God. So if your concept is not a correct biblical concept, your commitment will be impacted by that negatively. In Isaiah chapter number uh, six, Isaiah, the great prophet, uh, has a vision of the Lord. And all I want to do is read the verses. Isaiah 6, beginning with verse 1. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. He was sitting on a lofty throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple, hovering above him, and around him were mighty seraphs, each with six wings, with two wings that covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with the remaining two they flew. In a great chorus they sang, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his glory. The glorious singing shook the temple, shook the temple to its foundations, and the entire sanctuary was filled with smoke. Then I, Isaiah, said the following, My destruction is sealed, for I'm a sinful man and a member of a sinful race. Yet I have seen the king the Lord Almighty. You see what he's saying here is when you get a vision, understanding, a comp and you're able to comprehend the holiness of God, then the contrast is our sin, our sinfulness, our awfulness. And so he says, then one of the seraph flew over to the altar and he picked up a burning coal with a pair of tongs. He touched my lips with it and said, see, this coal, it's touched your lips. Now your guilt is removed and your sins are forgiven. Let me tell you what we need probably more than anything in our day and time, especially among people who know Christ, is we need a new view of the awesomeness of the holiness of God. Lord, give that to me because it'll change your life. So when you become a Christian, two major things happen you need to understand. First of all, you ask Christ in, or if you have in the past, he justified you. It's called a theological term, justification. It means just as if you've never sinned. In other words, he legally declares you free from all sin and guilt, all sin and guilt, based upon what Jesus did on the cross, plus nothing else. So when he comes into your life, he justifies you based on what he did by giving his life on the cross. Your position before a holy God, because Jesus is covering you, is you're perfect. Practically speaking, though, we're not perfect. And then we enter the process of becoming like Jesus, which is a lifelong deal, which is called sanctification. So you have justification, and then you have sanctification, the process day by day, moment by moment, of becoming more like Jesus. Now, two things will be worked into your life when you are in the process of becoming more like Jesus. Number one, you will get a new quality of life. If you look back in uh, Psalm 4, verse number 4, he says, Stand in awe and don't sin. Stand in awe and don't sin. You see, what we need is what Isaiah had. We need a great 
view of the holiness of God. And when we do, we will see the horribleness of our sin. And we will come to him and say, dear Jesus, forgive me, cleanse me, help me to become day by day, moment by moment, your person, your man, your woman. Then the second thing that will be yours is the quietness that will come to your life. You say, what? The quietness. I look in the psalm. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart. In other words, contemplate, think through, evaluate upon your bed and be still. When you go to bed, be quiet, be still, contemplate your heart, your life, how things are going. What does the word still mean here? It means silent, be quiet, shut up, get off the treadmill, slow down and focus on him. Not only think about that, do something about that.